Aptera, a startup known for its innovative approach to solar electric vehicles, EVs, has generated significant interest in its production timelines and technological promises. Despite the optimistic tone in much of its communication, there have been increasing instances of cautious language such as may, probably, and would, suggesting a nervous skepticism about the certainty of its ambitious goals. Nonetheless, Aptera has made considerable progress, meeting its announced timelines for the Alpha and Beta models, with Gamma and Delta models expected soon, also within the projected time frame. But before we continue, if you're enjoying this briefing, please kindly support this channel by liking and clicking on the subscribe button below to subscribe to this channel and to help YouTube learn of your preferences and enable you receive new video updates every time they are uploaded. Thank you. Let's get going. The Aptera vehicle, an auto cycle featuring a sleek, three-wheel design, promises unprecedented efficiency and functionality, positioning it as a significant contender in the future of sustainable transportation. The Aptera vehicle stands out with its extremely high efficiency, boasting a driving range between 400 kilometers, 250 miles, and 1600 kilometers, 1000 miles, depending on the model. It features both front-wheel drive and all-wheel drive versions, with the latter achieving a 0, 100 kilometers per hour, 0 to 16 amp acceleration in just 4 seconds. The vehicle is constructed from forged carbon fiber, making it exceptionally strong and lightweight with a drag coefficient expected to be between 0.13 and 0.15. Additionally, it includes built-in solar panels that provide up to 700 deli of power, offering around 65 kilometers, 40 miles, of range per day under optimal conditions. For charging, it supports both AC and DC options via an ACS connector. Aptera's cargo capacity is also impressive, nearly reaching 1 cubic meter, 0.9 cubic meters or 32.5 cubic feet, making it practical for carrying items like surfboards or sheets of plywood. The vehicle's weight for the 1,000 kilometer range version is listed at 820 kilograms, 1,800 pounds, significantly lighter than most passenger EVs. It will be compatible with Kama's Open Palad Drive Assistance Package and adheres to the right to repair philosophy, which is often resisted by many automakers, but is becoming law in various regions. The base price for Aptera is around $26,900 USD although it might be higher by the time it reaches the market. The initial launch edition model is priced at $33,000 USD. Currently, there are about 44,000 pre-orders or reservations for Aptera, with the first 2,000 units reserved for the Accelerator program, which requires an investment of over $10,000 USD. The history of Aptera is marked by resilience. The original company, Aptera V1.0, faced significant challenges that led to the ousting of its joint CEOs, Steve Fambro and Chris Anthony. After the company's collapse, they reacquired the intellectual property and relaunched the business as Aptera V2.0. Both founders have demonstrated their capability by successfully running other businesses between their tenures at Aptera. There is growing global interest in electric vehicles, with many drivers in countries like Australia standing to benefit significantly from making the switch. EVs are becoming more compelling due to their lower running costs and minimal maintenance requirements. They are also expected to last much longer than internal combustion engine vehicles, particularly in high-use cases. However, there are still some limitations for those needing to tow heavy loads or requiring serious off-road capabilities. Additionally, individuals who drive very little or rely on coal-powered electricity may find that EVs are not the most suitable choice for them at the moment. The cost of EVs remains a consideration, particularly at the lower end of the market, although the total cost of ownership is likely to be cheaper than that of internal combustion engine cars, especially with the various incentives available. In places like Australia, small EVs are becoming more affordable. With models like the BUD Addo 3 and MQ4 priced under AU$40,000 before on road costs. Over time, prices and ranges will improve, and the car industry is expected to undergo significant changes by the 2030s. Tesla and BUD are currently seen as safe bets in the EV market, with Rivian also showing promise. Range is a critical factor for EV users, and while the majority of internal combustion engine cars have ranges of around 600 kilometers, 400 miles, EVs must balance the cost and weight of batteries with the range offered. For most drivers, a range of 400 kilometers, 250 miles, is the minimum acceptable, with 600 to 800 kilometers, 375 to 500 miles, being ideal. Actual driving range can vary significantly from manufacturer claims due to various factors, including driving conditions and weather. Recharging EVs is a relatively straightforward process, especially with home charging options. In places with 220 V 240 V power, Level 2 home charging is common and efficient. The time required to charge an EV can vary, but for Aptera, which is highly efficient, the process is even quicker compared to other EVs. Aptera's launch edition, for example, can gain significant range from relatively short charging times due to its lower energy consumption. Battery technology is continually evolving, with different types of batteries offering various benefits. 
Aptera is expected to use 811 NMC batteries, which include a high proportion of nickel. These batteries provide a good balance of energy density in cycle life, though future advancements may offer even better options. The car's onboard AC charger may have limitations, so users looking for faster charging speeds at public AC chargers may need to consider these constraints. Solar charging is a distinctive feature of Aptera, with up to 40 miles 66 kilometers, of range per day from solar power under ideal conditions. This makes it an attractive option for those without easy access to other charging options. While solar charging may not fully meet everyone's needs, it significantly reduces the dependence on traditional charging infrastructure. Charging infrastructure is also evolving, with various standards and networks being established worldwide. In the US, the NACS, North American Charging Standard, or TESOL plug is becoming prevalent, while in other countries, standards like CTS are used. Adapters are available to bridge these differences, although regulations on their use are emerging. The cost of charging varies, with domestic electricity tariffs often making home charging cheaper than using fuel. Off-peak tariffs and renewable energy sources can further reduce costs. Public charging networks offer different pricing models, with some providing free or discounted charging. As EV adoption grows, charging infrastructure and policies will continue to evolve to meet demand. Overall, Aptera represents a significant step forward in the evolution of electric vehicles, combining innovative technology with practical design to offer a highly efficient and sustainable transportation option. Its success will depend on various factors, including market acceptance, continued technological advancements, and the expansion of charging infrastructure. However, the potential impact of Aptera on the automotive industry and its role in promoting a future without fossil fuels is considerable. That's where we wrap things up for the time being. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.